Namaste. Happy World Telecom Day. I'm Pavitra Jagannathan and I study in Kandam 2 in Agastya Gurugula. The Tilakam or Bindi we wear is not merely a colorful mark on our forehead. It is said to be the representation of our Agnya Chakra or third eye. Today we'll take a look at the significance of different Tilakams. Shaktas, worshippers of Shakti, Devi, use Kumkuma to wear a red dot, line, teardrop or Ardha Chandra, which is a half circle on their forehead. This symbolizes Shakti, the Devi's divine energy and power. Shaivas, also referred to as Shaivites, who are worshippers of Bhagavan Shiva, use Vibhuti, which is also referred to as Pasma, to draw three lines on their forehead. This is known as Tripunjra and is also sometimes drawn as just one line. The three lines represent Bhagavan Shiva's threefold power, will, knowledge, and action. Tripunjra is often worn with a red dot or line in the middle, which symbolizes the goddess Parvati. Vibhuti or Bhasma is worn in many different ways, although the meaning and significance remains the same. Sri Vaishnavas, worshippers of Goddess Lakshmi and Bhagavan Vishnu, wear Tilakam in two ways. The Tengale Tilakam consists of two white lines along with a small mark at the bottom drawn using Tiliman, the powder from under ant holes. This represents God, God Vishnu's feet. In the middle is a red line that represents Goddess Lakshmi. Meanwhile, the Vadagalai Tilakam has a white U-shaped marking which represents Vishnu's feet. In the middle is a yellow or red line depending on the family tradition that represents Goddess Lakshmi. These are known as Tidiman Kapil, Tidinamam or Tidiman Shri Tudnam. Women wear Tidiman Kapa slightly differently with a small V at the bottom to represent Bhagavan Vishnu's feet and a red line to represent Lakshmi. This is known as Haripada Dvayakriti, the two feet of Sri Narayana. These two are the Vadagalai Tirimans, while these two are the Tengalai ones. In olden times, those who wanted wealth used yellow, while those who wanted moksha used white. Ramanuja Acharya popularized the importance of moksha, and wearing white tiriman became more common. Gaudiya Vaishnavas wear two vertical lines, with a white tulsi leaf shape at the bottom. This indicates reaching Radha and Krishna indirectly through Tulsi Devi, a pure devotee, and not directly. Followers of the Nimbarka Sampradaya start at the nose and continue with two lines up to the forehead. This is made using Gopi Chandana, the clay from Gopi Kunda Lake in Dwaraka. These lines represent the temple of Bhagavan. Inside the temple, in between the two lines, is a black dot which represents Radha and Krishna together. Followers of Sri Madhvacharya were two vertical lines that represent Krishna's lotus feet. In between is a black line made from the remaining coal from the Homa or Yajna. A yellow or red dot underneath indicates Lakshmi or Radha. We often see photos of Krishna wearing a U shape on his forehead. This is another Tilakam as well and is known as Haripada Samakriti the single foot of Vishnu. Resources Photos from Google Images and Vishnu Arts Information Iskon Desire Tree, Hindu American Foundation and the information on Krishna's U-shaped Tilaka and the Sri Vaishnava Tilaka from Sri Devanath and Ayangad. Thank you. Happy World Bindi and Tilakam Day. Dhanya Vadaha.